Hello ladies, believe it or not, it's Friday already. And also I'm a little sad because I did not receive one question from anybody this week. Um, so I don't have any answers for you. If you don't have any questions, I don't have any answers, but I do have a few things on my mind to share with you. Today is my birthday as I'm recording this and I've had a wonderful day. A big part of that wonderful day are all the comments and birthday wishes and just love that I received from many of you on my blog, on my Facebook page, on the online Bible study page. Denise from California even called me this morning at exactly 10 a.m. because she had read my blog and she knew it was my birthday and she knew I missed my mama calling me at 10 a.m. I just can't tell you the way that those things, your words have blessed my heart and touched my heart and just really lifted me. I have had the best day that I have had and I don't even remember how long. I've had friends come and visit the office. I had lunch with my husband, my office girls. Y'all might have already seen these pictures, but let me just show you what they gave me. I'm a huge football fan. Gamecock country, this says. South Carolina Gamecocks. Woohoo! My favorite team. I'm a huge football fan. A little flag for my house for the outside. And a hoodie. Yay, they know me so well, and I'm so excited. Oh, and one more thing, my other favorite team, Appalachian. It's where I went to college. But anyway, I'm not trying to brag or boast. I just want to share with you how happy I am, and thank you so much. And I do have a little message for a few of you that have commented that you're just not feeling this made to crave thing, and you're sad because you've messed up, and you're beating yourself up, and you don't think you can do it, and everybody else is doing great, and some of you haven't gotten your books. No, 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 no. Stop that. Remember, we got to train our mind. Don't keep dwelling on those things. I am praying for you guys so hard. Please don't quit. John 10.10 10 says the thief, that evil, yucky old thief, the enemy, Satan, he comes to steal and kill and destroy. He wants to destroy everything good that you believe about yourself. He wants to destroy the fact that you think or that you're believing that you're made for more. He wants to destroy the thought that you could actually um, be successful and have a life of freedom. He doesn't want you to believe that. But that verse goes on to say, and it's Jesus talking, I have come to give life or to, um, so that you may live life to the full. I know I'm not getting those words exactly right, but you know what the verse says, or you can hear me. John 10.10, 10, go look it up. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I have come so that you may have life and live it to the fullest. Ladies, forgive yourself and move on. Um, please don't quit. I love you guys, and thank you so much for such a great day. And um, I'm going to take a break this weekend, so I will not be posting again until Sunday. Bye, y'all.